Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hey, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Can you hear me well? Yes. Great. Yes. Are you okay. ready for tonight's class? I'm ready, teacher. Yeah, that's the attitude. That's what you should say. We are ready. Did you have a good day? Yes? How did the day go? How was your day? How was Friday? Awesome. Interesting. Exciting. Uh -huh. How was your Friday? Tired. Tired. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Teacher, I, I sent a picture. Yes, I saw it. Thank you. That was interesting too. <laughs> so you you saw him today again. Yes. <laughs> I see you are famous too. <laughs> I was surprised. I say, oh my god. Interesting. All right. So it's time to start. Yes, it's 8.05 already. I was waiting for the other participants to get connected. But it's great to have you here, right? Okay, let's see. I'm going to share the screen for us to start the class. All right, let's go ahead. Give me one second. I need to go right here as i was mentioned oh my god you're gonna be listening to that neighbor's dog crying because my neighbor lives or well she goes out let's say on fridays and the poor dog doesn't like to be alone so he's always <laughs> making that sound i'm sorry and there's nothing we can do about it so this is our class number eight. Oh my God, almost finishing a second week for this course out of four weeks. This is our class number eight. So I hope you can be working on the session two already on the platform. That would be awesome. That would be great. And this is Friday, February the 3rd of 2023. All right. Okay, so for this class, the usual reminders of the attendance and the participation in class, of course, right? So, which is really, really important. All right, for tonight's class, we have this um, objectives to fulfill, to achieve, to get, express necessities and obligations and the use of have to and need to i have to i need to i have to is an obligation i need to it's a necessity it's like oh, i need to buy shampoo so it's a necessity <laughs> i need to go to the supermarket okay but an obligation you say oh i have to be early on at my work I have to be on time. That's an obligation, right? So I have to. I have to complete this report for today. It's your obligation, right? You say, oh, I have to give money to buy the things in the house. So that's your obligation. So this is what we're practically going to be doing during this class. But before anything else, we have the attendance so that we go straight ahead with the class are you ready for the attendance ready yes anna ruth nahir brenda nahir 
Claudia, Daniel, Adonai, Trejo. Present. <laughs> That's your full name. Daniel Alejandro Reyes. Daniela Lisset. Daisy Tatiana. I'm here. Dolores de Los Angeles. Present. Hello, good evening. Juliana. Mayet. Helen. Oh, sorry, Ellen. Mahia. Uh, Jonas. Mahia. Jorge Antonio. Jose David. Julio. Hey, good evening. All right. Karen. Emperatriz. Present. Hello, good evening. Kevin Alexander. Lady Marisela. Present. Hey, and Ruth Evelyn. Present. Hello. Okay. So we have a small attendance. <laughs> well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Dolores, did I call your name? Did I say your name? Uh, yes. Uh, excuse me, I don't understand. Sí, la mencioné. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> okay. I was not sure. I didn't remember <laughs> if I say your name. All right, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Before anything else, hmm. Vale, tenemos un game. Well, tenemos dos, two games actually. Pero, before, traten de pensar en una question que le gustaría hacerme a mí. A ver, vamos a hacer al revés. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to answer the question. Piensen, tienen two minutes to think about the question. Si la quieren escribir, es up to you you're free okay but in english of course we're gonna have this question and answer break icebreaker but in english right all right think about one or two questions you want to ask me all right and then we're gonna open the space for you to ask the questions all right Cuando ya la tengan, raise your hand. When you get it, raise your hand. Okay? Yay! She's super fast. <laughs> Tell me. Are you married? I am. <laughs> I am. Not, not officially, not by the law, but... I've been living with my couple for about 10 years. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, <laughs> all right, great. Okay, Dolores. Do you have babies? No, I don't have kids of my own because I have a lot of nieces and nephews. I have 12. <laughs> I said if I have to raise a child it would be a child from my brother because I have three brothers and they have 12 kids wow <laughs> in December the last baby was more the 12th one so it was oh my god the six nieces and six nephews Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of family, I know. All right, Tatiana. 
Básicamente ya la respondió, pero la voy a decir. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Yeah, I only have three brothers. I don't have sisters. Uh, I grew up in a family of three brothers only. I have an older brother and two younger brothers. I am the second one. Mm -hmm. You are the princess. Uh, uh, and the queen <laughs> for your for your brother <laughs> i know i know my brothers are very kind and very lovely with me now that we are adults when we were kids it was crazy believe me they say ah oh, you don't have a sister you don't have a sister we are three <laughs> they all play soccer and we're kind of uh let's say energetic all the time and i was the only kid that was reading or doing academic work because they were kind of very active and athletic but now everything is different yeah great no more questions nah. <laughs> uh -huh. Where do you live? Where do I live? Here? Well, I say all the time this. I am from Ilovasco originally, but I live here in San Salvador for more than 20 years. I live here in Mexicanos, it's near Universidad del Salvador. So as a reference, I always say, yes, I live near Universidad del Salvador, but it belongs to Mexicanos. Yeah, but my parents and my brothers live in Ilovasco, all of them. <laughs> but I think I live most of my life here in San Salvador. Okay. No more questions? No. <laughs> yes, Daniel. All right. Which is your favorite book read in the free time? My favorite activity to do in my free time. Yes? No, no. Which is your favorite book read My favorite the book time? to read? Yeah. Well, I have read a lot of books. I would say one of the books i still remember is from gabriel garcia marquez i read times i mean love in times of cholera that was a really nice novel i read it was really interesting i saw the movie but i was not happy with the movie so i read the book <laughs> the book is a lot more interesting i like reading novels but yeah i've read you know inspirational books like self-growth books as well and there is a book I haven't finished reading, which is, um, it's a book by Yokoi Kenji, but I still need to complete it. So <laughs> I guess it's Salon Siete or something like that. He wrote that book in Spanish. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. Anyone else? Are you the youngest of your brothers? I am the second one. I have... Like yeah, we are four, so I have an older brother, then it's me, then it's my two younger brothers. And the, the names, that's something curious also for my brothers. Uh, my father is kind of a religious man, so they are called after three disciples. <laughs> they are called Pedro, Pablo, and Santiago. <laughs> so they are three from the Bible. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and I don't have a, a, a name from the Bible, you see? <laughs> I am the dark <laughs> No, they, I mean, my mom, my mom called me uh, Lydia, which is my middle name, after a friend she had when she was young. I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. No more questions. Yeah. You work in the you were in the morning at the school, university, or college. Currently, right now, yes. I work in a foundation, in a foundation. Yes. The program is Programa Empresarial Superate. So I work with teenagers that need to learn English, computing, and values 
I work in this foundation not only in the morning, the whole day. I work from 7 a.m. in the morning until 5. We have two shifts, one in the morning that goes from 7 to, to 11, from 7 to 12, because they receive classes and after they receive free lunch, and then they go to school. And the ones that come in the afternoon come from school, get to the foundation, have lunch, and then they receive classes and they go home at 5. So it's a program that gives free education to students with a big commitment for overcoming. So they, they, want, they really want to learn and they really want to uh, have a different lifestyle. So they want to get good jobs and they want to be better. So I work for this program since 2009. So I've been there for more than 13 years. But I used to work in the past for a private college, I mean, private schools and for universities too, and different programs. And the program that I worked the most was at ITCA. That was for almost 20 years at, at ITCA as well. Well, let's say 18 probably. I'm not quite sure how many years, but I was there uh, on Saturday programs and also at St. Louis on Sunday programs. But also with teenagers. Yeah, I think teenagers are a really cool age to work with. <laughs> They're really enthusiastic, energetic, really crazy, and, 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 it's, and it's great to work with them. Really cool. Okay. All right. No more questions. Nice. Nice. Good job. <laughs> good, good, good job. Okay, I remember yesterday. Uh huh. What was the topic? Uh, bear. Okay. Frequency bear. Uh huh. And getting closer. Imperative. 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 Yes. And we start with a verb. When we give an instruction, when we give a recommendation, right? When we give an order, uh -huh. when we give advice. Actually, it's more for advice, instructions, okay, or commands, right? They say, give me that book. Put it there. Cook the dinner, right? So it depends on the environment, of course. We give different instructions or we give, give I mean, different commands. So, I remember at the end of the class, we were completing an exercise, right? And we didn't check the exercise. All right, this is what we're going to do. Voy a enviar el link de ese exercise, lo, lo accesan y, lo com y traten de completarlo. Yo sé que es a little bit long, it's kind of long, pero ahí mismo pueden revisar sus answers. So, you're going to do it with your partners. El link lo voy a poner en WhatsApp y ese link lo va a llevar a esa página, ¿ok? Are you ready? And then ready. you can be comparing y completando, lo pueden completar juntos, ¿ok? So, let's see, here is the link. Let's see. Ok. Me confirman si le, lo logran accesar. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Para, para que se vaya al, al Google. Eh, no me hace link. No me quiere abrir. Teacher. Yes. Can you share uh, the link in the chat soon? Yeah, sure. Please. Okay. Because I don't have access to WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Uh, uh -huh. True. There Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Mm -hmm. 
Got it. Hello, I don't know where it's at. Yes. Yes. It's, yeah, it's the exercise that we were completing yesterday, right? Great. Test the chart. All right, perfect. I guess this is if you had a podium, there are como 15 options, right? But it has a lot more. It has a lot mm -hmm. more, has like 25. So the first one says, so loud, the baby is sleeping. ¿Cuál era el comien? ¿Cuál fue el imperativo para el number one? Don't speak. Don't speak so loud. Exactly. Si tienen not... Obviamente sabemos que los imperativos inician o con el verbo directamente o con don't, right? Don't speak so loud, the baby's sleeping. Uh -huh. Number two. Pass me the salt, please. Pass me the salt. Pass me the salt, please, right? Number three. Please, I can't see it through Uh-huh. Step. I can see. I can see it. Uh, I can you. see it through you. Step aside. Step aside. Mm -hmm. To what your parents say, they give you, they give good advice. And the number four. Listen. Can be listen to what your parents say. Mm -hmm. They give good advice. So nasty, the others. That Not is, don't be, don't be so nasty, right? Uh huh. Respect. Don't respect. Respect the others. Don't be, don't be, no sea. Don't be no. so nasty. Respect the others. Okay, six, your name at the bottom. Right. Right, right, your name at the bottom. Okay, to take your umbrella. It's raining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't forget, forget, don't forget to take your umbrella. Si se fijan, el, el número coincide. Solo que ustedes lo tienen que poner en formato de imperativo. Ya sea el verbo directamente, de forma afirmativa, o agregándole el don't. ¿Ya? Yeah? Don't forget to take your umbrella. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining again. <laughs> Take mm -hmm. your umbrella. Uh -huh. Nine, enter in the instructions. Mm -hmm. To press the follow. Right. follow. Sí. Tiene el to, pero se lo quitamos. Solo decimos. Press. Right. Press enter and follow. follow. And follow the instructions. Exactly. Ten. That is scotch. Not to drink. <laughs> Pero le quitamos no. el not y lo convertimos en 
to drink. Don't. Don't drink that scotch. You are going to drive. Probably a scotch is some kind of liquor or beer, probably. Uh huh. Slowly and quiet. Please. Don't. Don't respect. To rest. Rapid. ¿Qué tienen, en el, ¿qué, ¿Qué tienen en, el, en el number 11? Please. Uh -huh. uh, walk. walk. Please walk slowly and quiet. Quiet. Uh -huh. Next. On the grass. Don't walk. Don't walk on the grass. Uh -huh. To me, when I'm talking to you. Listen. Listen to me when I'm talking to you. Así le dicen los papás a los chicos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yo me cuento que estoy hablando. <laughs> <laughs> After me, I want to do that again. Repeat. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. I want to do that again. <laughs> the child, too. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Go away. Go, Go away. away. I'm trying to concentrate. So fast, it's dangerous. Don't drive. Don't drive so fast, it's dangerous. All right. The butter in a saucepan and then let the butter in a saucepan then add. Exactly. First, melt the butter in a saucepan and then add garlic. Hmm. Like making bread with or garlic bread. <laughs> okay. 18. Go, and then go a straight and then ahead and then take take the first Five. turning exactly 19 don't speak don't speak so fast i can understand you mm -hmm. 19 Oh, that's 20, actually. Okay. 20. 20, yes. Okay. Don't spend. Don't spend so much money on worthless things. What does that mean, worthless? Innecesarias, que no valen la pena. Worthy, okay. algo que vale la pena. Worthless, algo que no vale la pena. Okay. Yes. All right. Number? 21. 21. Good care of your sister. I'll be here in a minute. Take good care. Take good care of your sister. I'll be here in a minute. 22. Boil the carrots. Carrot of four of four Boil the carrots just for just five minutes. Mm -hmm. Twenty-three. Help yourself. Help yourself to a dream. The glasses are over there. Help yourself in este in este caso sirvase. Help yourself to a drink. The glasses are over there, right? 24. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Do not touch, okay? Don't touch anything. Mrs. Wilson won't like it. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And 25. Hi. Don't be Don't so shy. Relax. Yes, don't be so shy. Relax. See, the line is scrolling down. Va a encontrar un botón donde dice finish. Le pueden dar ahí y luego le va a dar dos opciones. Check my answers y 
email my answers to the teacher, pero ustedes denle check my answers, que ustedes pueden ver las respuestas de una vez. ¿Ya? Yeah. Good. Vamos a ver. Tómenle un screenshot y lo ponen en el grupo de WhatsApp para ver cuánto es acá. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yes. Todos me han tenido 10. Espera, Yes. Correct. Pay attention. Uh -huh. Pay attention. Y que ahí está el mismo verbo, solo que nosotros le cambiamos. Listen to, to your parents. Ajá, eso me salió mal. Pero pay attention. They give good advice, I know. Y donde no puse los apóstrofes. Me sal, o te salió mala, pero, o sea, está Ajá, bien, ajá, pero, pero ajá, igual a veces por la configuración de la página que no reconoce los apóstrofes. Uh -huh. O que uno cliquea en una tecla diferente y uno cree que ese es el apóstrofe. Y ya está de la comida. <risa> Exacto, True. la comida simple. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero recuerden, los commands, los imperatives, uh -huh. si están de forma negativa, inician con don't. Don't go, don't do, don't stay, right? Y si sí, son afirmativos, de una vez con el verbo. Listen, okay. pay attention, right? Send the report, come here. <laughs> yes? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Bye. Una compartida, una whiteboard. Espérame, mm. wait a minute. Mm. Let me see. Mm. Mm. Acá está. Mm. Vale, ustedes logran ver mm. the whiteboard. Mm. Yes. Yes. Vale, si yes. ustedes mueven el mouse, mm. van a encontrar el menú un menú de diferentes opciones de texto de dibujar y seleccionan el de texto y hacen esto cuáles serían dos posibles commands o imperatives que reciben en su trabajo <ríe> me voy a poner mi ejemplo exacto <ríe> exacto casi siempre nos dicen come early Stay focus. Stay focus es algo que siempre nos dice. Como estar concentrado. Vale. Esos son dos posibles comandos de forma afirmativa que nos dan y dos posibles comandos de forma negativa. Don't, don't use. The cell phone in class, let's say. Porque nuestras clases son presenciales, pues obviamente, right? So, another one would be, I'm sorry, don't see. Okay, could be another one. Don't be angry. <laughs> Yeah, it could be don't be angry, don't be mad, hmm. don't use Spanish, yeah, I'm guessing, ah, perfect, bye, yo he escrito dos commands de forma afirmativa y dos commands de forma negativa que usualmente recibimos en nuestro trabajo, ustedes van a hacer lo mismo. Va a escribir two affirmative and two negative. Commands that you usually receive o instructions que usualmente le dan en su trabajo. Aquí hay alguien que colaboró con don't talk much with your partner. <laughs> a lo que pasa en chambreading ahí en la oficina. <laughs> Bye, pero 
son por lo que tienen. Si ¿Sí logran colaborar aquí en la pizarra, pueden escribir. ¿Ya encontraron el, el menú flotante? ¿De chiquera? Muevan el mouse. Y le van a aparecer las opciones. Anoté, creo que dicen. Donde está un, como un lapicito. Para... Yo tengo un lapicito, pero solo me dice un lápiz, una flecha, color, borrador y guardar. ¿Really? Ajá. Es que estoy en el teléfono. Ah, pero ahí aparece. Aquí aparece en la pizarra. ¿Quién puede ver aquí ya? Ajá. Okay. Uy. No, quiere dibu no quiere dibujar ah. No quiere decorar la pizarra ¿verdad? Sí, sí, también Inténtelo, you can do it Ok You can do it Oh, wow <ríe> Texto, no le sale la opción de texto. Text. No, a mí no. Really. Mm. Uh -huh. En el chat le voy a escribir. Okay, you can write it on the chat too. That's another option, actually. Porque a mí tampoco no me sale nada. Mm. That's weird. Bueno, si no le sale la opción de la board, lo que puede hacer en el chat. On the chat. <laughs> Don't avoid distractors. Uh -huh. That's one command, one imperative. Submit reports on time. True, 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 true. Nosotros también lo dicen eso. <laughs> Sobre todo las, los reports de notas. <laughs> Submit the great report on time. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay, don't talk much with your partner. Don't eat in your desk. Answer emails ASAP. Contact your daily suppliers. Yay! <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't listen to music loud or don't listen to loud music. Put the client's record on the table. Be patient with the clients. True. What else? Okay, nice. What else? What else? ¿Qué otras instructions or commands do we receive at work? ¿Sí? ¿No amor? ¿Quién no ha colaborado? ¿Quién no participa? Answer my calls. <laughs> True. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Eso no me contó de mí. Ok. No contesta. <laughs> Please pay suppliers. Uh -huh. True. Or react to the messages. <laughs> A nosotros sí nos dicen. 
Aunque sea una reacción a los mensajes, póngale. Ok, nice. Stay here with me. Be honest, please. Don't say that. Don't have excuses. Especially for permission, right? Ok. Good. Good, good, good. ¿Ya todos participaron? ¿Es anybody else? Ok. Pay attention. Follow the so procedure. Difficult. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. The words. Uh, write the words on big. Uh -huh. On the whiteboard. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a different tool that you need to use from Zoom. But it's oh wonderful. God. It's wonderful because it makes me feel that I have a, a whiteboard. <laughs> I know. And you can even put a lot of other things. Like you can put stars. Yes. Or you can put hearts. Like. You see? Oh. Uh-huh. You can do a lot of other things. Or like question. All right. Bueno, lo importante es que lo hayan intentado. You try, okay? Yes, I try. <laughs> you try. I did it. <laughs> I did it. All right, I got it. All right, perfect. No more. It's all right. Okay, let's continue. Okay. What are three things that you do every day in your workplace and what is something you never do in your workplace? This is like the introduction of the topic that we are having for tonight. Three things that I do at my workplace. I write reports, I answer emails, I answer the phone, I visit clients, okay? I have meetings, I organize meetings. So those are many things that we do at work. And something that we never do. Something that I never do at work is, um, let's see, call customers probably because I'm a teacher so I never call customers or clients. <laughs> Even if I think of the students or the participants are the customers, right? So sometimes probably I contact them through email but I never call them on the phone, like, hey, how are you? Why didn't you come to class? I don't, I don't do that <laughs> because I'm a teacher, but you have a different job. So what is something that you never do at work? ¿Qué podría ser algo que nunca hacen en su trabajo? Probably you say, oh, I never give trainings or I never organize meetings. Mm -hmm. Or I never travel to another country, right? That could be something. Anyone? Anyone who wants to say something? Oh, we do a lot of things at work, I know. Okay. I never attend clients, Daisy says. Uh-huh, true. That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Anything else? I never visit clients, right? Mm -hmm. I never write reports. Uh -huh. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Because I do write a lot of reports. Many. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Well, those are very good examples, actually. Very, very good. Okay. This is something that we have from the manual. It says, read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Vamos a leer este paragraph. Y acá, hay oraciones que están correctas. Perfect. Ponemos un chequecito a la parte. Y hay oraciones que están incorrectas. Entonces, ustedes las tienen que corregir. Yes? Leanlo muchas veces. Identifiquen cuáles oraciones están correctas. Ok, fine, no problem. Luego identifican qué oraciones de este párrafo están incorrectas y las corren. Are you ready? Yes. Vamos a trabajar en small groups. Vamos a hacer like two groups. Oh, uh, well, three groups, actually. And let's go. Or it's oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very, very tired. All right. Confirm. Hmm. Yes, sir. Oh. Y con sueño. <laughs> Hello, my name is George. I go to the office. I'm sorry. Yo solo identifiqué una. ¿Cuál? Eh, I'm working in an office. Ajá, no sí. ¿Sí? Ese, ese ubicado, <risa> la ubicamos como at, ¿verdad? I work, Ajá, I at, work at office. At office. Uh -huh. okay, I am a human resource manager. Eso está bien. Every day. Every day I check, I check email for the company creo que uh -huh. está bien no, uh -huh. I every day I am o I'm creo que aquí le falta porque no puede ser solo I la always. I. Uh -huh. no, every dice, day I I'm ajá uh -huh. I'm check check emails eso creo que está malo también for the company porque en todo solo dice I y debe decir I am I'm, I'm always Answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. General, I'm, this is, creo que le I'm attending meeting in the Eso morning and not 
Sí, es frecuencia. Pero no creo que sea así ahorita y hay. Ajá, ¿verdad que no? Ajá. Sino que hay every day. Oh, no, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver. Ajá. Teacher, muy poco tiempo. You didn't finish. No. No. I know. Solo los, los acabo de mandar a traer porque tenemos una, una situation acá. Vamos okay. a ver. ¿Quiénes tienen el manual? Raise your hand. Yo. Va. Me voy a compartir. Tatiana, you have a question? No, 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 solo que okay. yo lo tengo. A ver, <ríe> cool. Sí, es que faltaba que les mandara el otro screenshot. Esto es el ejercicio realmente. Se lo mandé ah. solo esta parte para que leyeran. To read. Pero todos estaban más preocupados de buscar the wrong sentences. Esas son las oraciones Correct. que después van a corregir. Yes. Like his name is Wilkins. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> no. Ya. Yeah. Incorrecto. Exacto. Entonces vi que todo el mundo está está más estresado en eso, pues dije no. Voy a decir todo solo la instrucción. Esperen primero solo lean. Ya ahorita les envío el otro screenshot de las versiones que van a corregir. Ya. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Teacher, right. teacher. Dígame. Teacher. Uh, en el caso de la primera uh -huh. te tenemos una línea. Que uh -huh. va a ir antes. La, his name is John Wilkins. John uh -huh. Wilkins. Uh -huh. Is, uh, ¿qué diría? Como, por ejemplo, is his name, uh, no, no, no iría, ¿verdad? Que va ahorita, antes, ahorita, ahorita. en ese guión. En, ese, en esa línea, en ese espacio en blanco, usted va a escribir la oración correcta. His name is John Wilkins. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted va a decir, his name is John Wilson. Correcto. Uh -huh. uh, no, no. Eh, lo que pasa es que antes de eh, quizás ah, estoy preocupado en este. por un... entonces aquí van a poner si está correcta o antes si está de correcta en ese espacio ah, no, no. Eh, uh -huh. verdadero falso Exacto. Vale, no, si, es, sí, si está sí, correcta sí, solo listo, check listo. y no tiene que hacer nada pero si está okay. incorrecta ahí sí all right ready Gracias. thanks Bye. <ríe> relax ready. first Gracias. read okay muy bien go muy bien. Nosotros hasta habíamos hecho un código. Amarillo, correcto. Verde, incorrecto. Para analizar la oración. Okay. Así. 
que ver. En la tarde, ajá, sí. Aunque de seis. Oh, pero, pero aquí dice, creo que no. No, porque en, el, en, el, en la oración, no, en la lectura dice, eh, he, eh, I attend meetings, pero no dice con qué frecuencia, in the ajá. morning. A menos que trabajo, lo tome desde ajá. I always, porque ahí empieza, I always answer the phone, the phone. El, y empieza todo, como que todo fuera always. Uh -huh. Así o algo así. Uh -huh. A saber si estaría general. correcto. Ajá, sí, porque dice general, generally, y el generally es general, o sea, es casi que siempre. Generalmente. Ajá. Sí, va. Yo atiendo reuniones, ajá. Es como que lo hiciera muy, 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 muy frecuente. In the morning. Ah, pues está bien, the... entonces, Jofe, no. Uh -huh. no. Sí, por, sí está bien porque dice que no so often en the afternoon, pero sí en la mañana. Uh -huh. Creería que sí está correcta. Nunca atiende en las tardes. Es, es falso porque eso... Ah, ahí sí dice uh -huh. often. Uh -huh. Pero dice oh. I'm not so often, ajá. Uh -huh. Que no es muy frecuente que atienda en las tardes. Ajá. Dice, pero sí atiende alguna vez. ¿Mande? Y dice que nunca, ¿verdad? en las cinco. Ajá. I never. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces es, es incorrecta. Lo correcto es que. Oh, sí. Ajá. Ok. Ah, pues sí, la anterior también está mala porque no sería open, sino general. Mm. Uh -huh. Pero espérenme, quiero ver algo, Tati, para que vaya a hacer que esté equivocada yo. Uh -huh. generally. Es que generally es como... No sé. Ajá, es que por ejemplo, por ejemplo, si yo digo generalmente lo que hago es esto. O sea, como que... No sé. Las seis. Uh -huh. He usually has events in his company. Eh, he usually dice, pero no es incorrecto porque él siempre tiene eventos en su compañía. Compañía. Sería la, la conferencia. ¿O Ajá. cuál? ¿Cómo dice las seis? Es que no, no tengo las seis, solo tengo hasta las cinco ya. Ah, vaya, lo voy a poner. Then in the afternoon. All right, the correct form is he always attends meeting in the morning. Eso sí está bien. All right. He always attends Miren. Oh, pero antes de eso dice January. Ay, espera, espera. Vamos. Uh, in the morning. He mm. attend. ¿Antes? Yeah, yeah, sí. January. Entonces no es off thing. Generally. Is he generally? And I attend many in the morning. Yes, of course. Yes. All right, next. I never attend since. And the siguiente sería el, he often. He often. Mm -hmm. Porque dice que 
And as I said, he never attends meeting in the afternoon. He often attends meetings in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Next. He usually adds company. All right. It my company we outward had event. Sería outward en vez de usually. ¿Y? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Um, um, for cuarta línea ahí where dice I am com I am my company we all were always always he always has events in his company we had to attend the company. The conference in July. Ay, en ese sí no sé cómo es. Te amo. Sí. We, have, we always have an event. We have to attend a conference. In July 20. July 21. Ajá, y tenía 20. Ajá. Ok. Ah, ok. Ya. Entendí. Sí, y allí quiero ver, sí, eso sería nada más la respuesta de la de las siete. He has to go to conference on July, on July. No, quizás, quizás ahí sería, porque en July 22 lo que tiene es, dice, we have to attend a conference on July 21st, uh -huh, 21. Entonces, Esa es la, ahí tendría que ser, ¿verdad? Porque ahí dice que él va a ir, go to, go to conference, dice el 22, dice ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá, en la 7 dice el 22. Ajá, pero aquí dice que, dice que él va a tener que atender una conferencia en julio 21 y después tendrá que atender una reunión sobre esa conferencia en julio 22. Entonces, no sé si, si ponerle que él va a ir a la conferencia, que lo, lo, lo correcto es que él tiene que atender una conferencia en July 21. Yo pienso que sí, solo el sí. cambiarle el July 21. Ajá, exacto. Sí. Estamos allí. Okay. Está Jonas ahí también en el grupo. ¿Qué manda? Ah, bueno, ya se salió. Que estaba Jonas también, pero ahorita acaba de poner que tiene problemas con internet. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo? No, perdón. Aquí están hablando. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello. Me ha costado conectarme. 
Ya llevo un rato intentándolo, intentándolo. Okay. No se preocupe. Hemos, hemos visto, Jonas, que, que las siete oraciones están incorrectas. A todas les hemos hecho corrección. Ah, pues ahí me pasan ahí el, el informe de cómo, cómo serían entonces para yo poder. Se le va el internet a Jonas. Sí. Se que. All right. Finish. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Great. Okay, his name is John Wilkins. No, no, no. <laughs> uh -huh. His yeah. name okay. is John Wilson. Okay, it's John Wilson. Actually, that's correct, right? Wilson, right. He write reports every day. No. No. Uh -huh. Check. Check emails. Every day. Check emails. Check emails. Every day. Every day. Check emails every day, right? Okay. Good. He never answers the phone and talk to customers. No, he always, always no. answer the phone. He always answers the phone. Okay. He always answers the phone and talk to potential employees, he says. <laughs> okay. So, por cuestiones de espacio lo vamos a sacar, pero sabemos que en talks to potential employees, right? Yeah. Often attends meetings in the morning? Yo often no. ¿Cómo les quedó eso? Y, no, sí. You often attend a meeting in the afternoon. Okay. I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. mm. He always... Teacher, teacher. Yeah. teacher uh, uh, he generally attends meetings in the morning. He generally. Yes, he generally. Mm -hmm. True. Claro, estoy, estoy en la zona. Y no so often in the afternoon, dice. Right. 
He never attends meeting in the afternoon. He often. He often. Not so often. Cuando decimos not so often es como no tan frecuentemente. Entonces sería not so often. No. Rara never. vez. Pero no es never. Rare. Rarely. 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 Meetings so in the afternoon. Okay. He usually has events in the company. He always. He, he always has events in always the company. Has events in the company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He always has events in the company. Alright, and he has to go to a conference on July the 22nd? No. No. He mm -hmm. has. He has. To go? At the tenor, to a a conference? Mm -hmm. On July 21st. On July 21st. He has to go. To a conference on July 21st. All right. Good. So you see, practically all the, the sentences had a mistake, right? What wrong? Yes, that's why they say incorrect answers or incorrect sentences actually. Questions? No questions? Sure? Sure. Oh, right, I see somebody right. Oh, um, yeah. Teacher, teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Tell me. Teacher, a question mm -hmm. about the, the question number five. Mm -hmm. uh, I, in the as well, mm -hmm. I put no, he doesn't often attend meeting in the afternoon. It's correct. He doesn't often, it's rarely or seldom, almost never. It's okay. Si lo puse en formato negativo, está bien, porque dice he doesn't often. No. At the end of meetings, con frecuencia. It's the same. Yeah. Right? Okay, perfect. Yes, Jonas. Si la conexión de internet no es muy estable, lo mejor es que tenga la cámara apagada. Porque eh, la cámara sí, le va a consumir más internet. Para que pueda atender la clase, Jonas nos consulta en el chat. Sí, debería tener la cámara apagada porque escuchan mejor. It's all right. Ok. Clear. Clear as the water. Ay, no mate, no mate. Ok. Vale, veamos. Traen un segundito, just a second. I need to. I need to check something really quick. Right here, va a ser una sesión. One second. Escucha interferencia, teacher. Really? One second, please. Ah, ya estuvo. All right. No, volvió. <laughs> okay, one second. You have one day to do it, right? 
All right, can you hear me now? It's okay. Hello? Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. Better now? I hear okay. you. Yes. 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 Hi. Can Hi. you hear me? Yes. yes, I can. All right, thank you. Sorry, I think there was an inconvenience with the network here. Okay. We're going to do a small game now. And let's practice only, right? So... We're talking about routines, of course. Okay, let's see. We're gonna start with Evelyn. What number? Number five. Number five. This question My is for you. <laughs> okay. That question is for you. That I live in, in La Gavida, San Salvador, near the Mexican. Really? We're neighbors. <laughs> so yeah. I I go through La Rabida when I'm going to work every day. <laughs> I use it really? as a shortcut because of Juan Bueno School has a lot of traffic. Uh -huh. So I go through there. Okay. Oh, wow. What a small world. Miss Dolores Salina, what number? Number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, on Saturdays, um, on Saturday I go to Taekwondo class with my son. Uh huh. What else? Activities. Okay. Uh, I go to supermarket. Okay, shopping for groceries at the supermarket too. And. Hago las oficinas de la casa, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. I do the housework. I do the housework. I do the housework, yes. Okay. Cooking, cleaning, doing the laundry. Uh, exception cooking. All right. I, I order food from the delivery. No, no. My, my husband is... A chef. Yes. <laughs> All right, nice. 
Great. You're Thank lucky. you. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Daniel, what number? Number three. Number three. I don't. Do you play any <laughs> other instrument? And no, I don't. The instrument, yeah. You I are don't. not a music type. No. <laughs> Do you sing? No. Do you sing in karaoke? Never, never. <laughs> Do you sing in the shower? I no. sing in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> in the karaoke, in my house. In obviously. the car, in the karaoke, in the party. Uh, so it was not a good question for you, Daniel. Okay, Tati, Anna. Um, ten. Ten. They eat lunch. Yeah, that's possible. They eat lunch with their friends or they have lunch with their friends, right? Good. I think in about <laughs> Lady. Hi. Number eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. um, lady, lady, lady. <laughs> work is. Go to work. Uh, go to work. Uh -huh. After work, breakfast, okay. I go to work. All right. Then we go with Dolores. Did you answer any question? Uh, yes or no? Yes. You already answered a question. And I I answered the question number two. Ah, okay. So Daisy, Tatiana, two. So the toca Julio. Mr. Julius. Um, seven, please. Seven. Ooh. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> play soccer. I play soccer on on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I visit uh, the families of mm -hmm. my wife. Mm -hmm. wife. Your family um, or your wife family? my wife family mm -hmm. um often go to the beach oh nice because you are from la union <gasps> yeah <laughs> okay la union, la union city <laughs> yes i see ah. mm -hmm. el resto no sé si karen karen are you there my name Karen, Jonas, Daniela, Hayden. I know I must call Evelyn again because they don't answer. Um, the number 12. 12. Um, and my mother prefer uh, watch the series or movies. Really? Yes. What's her favorite series? Um, the number is uh, the same. It is it? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Wisher. <laughs> Okay. He, li good. he likes the wisher. I see. Okay, Tatiana again. <laughs> okay. Um, veo que me dice four, así que four. <laughs> yeah. 
Ay, gracias. You do a lot of things in the morning, I bet. I get up, uh -huh. the blue, brush the uh, take a shower. I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I comb my hair, I put on makeup, I go to work, I prepare breakfast. There's so many things you probably do. Okay, so Daniel, again, we have four options. Number nine. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Yay! So accurate. All right. Dolores, again. Number six. Number six? Is this number six? Yes. Wait, wait a second. What kind of transportation do you use to go to school? To work in this case because uh, maybe you don't go to school. I go to my work in my car. Okay, I drive. I drive my car. Mm -hmm. to I drive work. My car. Right. Uh -huh. Nice. Let's see who else. Julius, the last one. One or eleven? Uh, one. One. Okay, easy. 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 easy, easy. In the <laughs> office, drink coffee. <laughs> at 3 30 p.m., you drink coffee. And at home? Uh, sorry? And when you are at home, you are not at work? Uh, uh, three. Uh, playing. Uh, I play with my, my uh, daughter. I play with my daughter. Video, video, video games. Video games. Yes. And the last one is going to be for whoever wants to answer. Okay. Uh -huh. Complete the sentence. Chi. Anybody? It's she right. She rides the bus every day. Rides the bus every day. She drives the bus every day. Good thing. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm not sure if I'm the bus, but she drives. She oh, she drives. She drives. Like take a ride. Uh -huh. mm. uh, she, take, she takes the bus. She takes the bus, the bus every bus. day. Yes, uh -huh. that sounds more accurate. <laughs> okay. Well, great. Nice. Okay, that gave you some practice for you to wake up a little bit, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> All right. One second, please. Hmm. I got lost a little bit. Okay. Sh sharing the PDF again. Okay, remember that at the beginning of the class, I told you we're going to study need for next for necessities and have to for obligation so this is wait a second this is somehow the okay let me see yeah there we go the explanation right expression to a state urgency. Es como las expresiones para denotar alguna urgencia, right? It's very important. I really need to, right? So listen to your teacher read the conversation. This is a very, very short conversation. Then practice with the partner, okay? I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important right away. Okay? So it's very short conversation just to show 
the expressions that we use for urgency, right? I really need to, I need to, okay? It's very important. All right. After this, you have an email. It says, fair work. Read the email and organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Okay, dear Guadalupe, there are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales report on May the 26th. And the write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regard, Daniel Ruiz. Okay. Oh, definitely. Daniel is giving a lot of tasks to Guadalupe, okay? And giving her the time as well. And it's because it's so important, okay? So, what are you going to do? In the groups, you are going to read the email. Read the email again, okay? So, let me just get, um, hold on. Yes. So, you read the email and organize the activities. What a lupe needs to do by importance, okay? Después de que hayamos leído y hayamos practicado la lectura, y la comprensión y la entonación, vamos a escribir en orden de importancia o en orden de urgencia las actividades que Guadalupe necesita hacer. Ok, so then organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance, desde la más importante hasta la no tan urgente, pero las cuatro son importantes. Yes. Voy a volverlo a leer y si tienen dificultad con alguna de las palabras, please take notes, ¿ok? Vayan, vayan escribiéndola o vayan marcándola para que me puedan consultar, Yes. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients for the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales report on May the 26th. And then write a new welcome letter for the new customers, you have one day to do it in four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it in two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regard, Daniel Ruiz. All right, questions. Is there any question regarding vocabulary? Daniel Ruiz. Is a niggle. <laughs> He's exploding, poor Guadalupe. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other question? No question. No questions. It was easy. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, vamos a trabajar. Primero leer y luego ordenar los tasks de Guadalupe en orden de importancia. Okay. So, let's create new groups. Yes, there you go.
Clientes ah, potenciales. Los primeros tres eh, con los clientes primeros potenciales. Tres clientes potenciales. Uh, en la lista del señor Sánchez, uh -huh. tú no tienes tres días. Tres, para hacerlo. Uh, tres horas cada día. Ah, tiene tres días para hacerlo. Uh -huh. Tres horas cada día. Ajá, y tres horas por día. Uh, llama a los nuevos clientes para... Uh, catálogos. <ríe> El catálogo, catálogo, information for them. I really, I really need you. To contact the first three potential customer in the list form from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it to do it. Three hours each day. Okay. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them. And give them the. Ahí, ¿cómo se pronuncia ese catálogo? Catálogo. 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 Uh -huh. The catalog. Okay. The catalog information for you. You have two days do it, to do it. Yeah. One hour. Do it. To do One it. One hour. One hour each day. It's It's very important to send the two last la, 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 lastest, lastest, lastest. lastest sales report on May, May, verdad? May, May sí. 26. And the right, a new welcome, welcome letter. Welcome. A new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it, to do it for hour. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have today to, to do it two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regard, Daniel Ruiz. Okay. Hi again, dear Guadalupe. These are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sancho. You have three days to do it. The hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you you have two days to do it one hour each day it's very important to send the two last mm -hmm. 26 mm -hmm. hey, with porque también dice que tiene que escribir una carta de bienvenida uh -huh. sí. Sí. And with a new webcomer. Webcomer. Ah, está ahí. Uh -huh. um, what do you think about three? Uh -huh. Number three is uh, the number four. All right, because only two hours and two days. Yes. Right. Visit the two stars in Santa Tecla. Hmm. All right. Um, for logic, 
Last one is the contact the first three potential customer. Customer or customer. What is the pronunciation? Customer or customer? Customer. Cos customer. Okay. Customer. Mm -hmm. Cust oh, right. Cust yeah, like a customer. Mm -hmm. Customer. Customer. Contact customers. Employees. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a minute. Give me a minute. It's okay. Ladies, and the first, uh, how do how do pronounce two lattes? And the first resp uh, answer. Okay. Vaya, estoy uh, es tu contacto, ¿verdad? estaba lento. Que ando en la calle. Very important to send. Send the two last the two last latest 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 Salis report Salis. and the third ahí tal vez sea el de call call the new clients call the new clients para finalizar the... con visit to store. visit to store Visit just store. Just store. God bless you. <laughs> Voy a practicar en lo que salí. Okay. Dear, dijo, ¿verdad? Dear, dear, Guadalupe. dear Guadalupe. These are some of the tasks for tasks. this tasks, tasks for this month. I really need you. I really need you to contact the first three potential customer in the list form, Mr. Sanchez. You have three day to to do it three hours each day call the new clients from the last three weeks and give give them give them the catalog 
Catalogi. Catalogi. Information for you. You have today to do it one hours. Hour. 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 Each day. Hour. It's very important to send. Catalog. 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 Jacket. Catalog. 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 Information. Catalog. Mm -hmm. Y es el last day. Es el la latest. 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 Okay. Sales person on May 26th and uh, write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have today to do it, to do it, two hours each, each day. Organize your week. Thank you, your best friends. Thank you. Did you finish? <laughs> yep. Yes, great. Okay, we're just gonna have Daniel the bravest to read it. <laughs> Only once. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Your microphone is giving you no problem. Too much problem. Can you hear me? No. Yes. Yes. Ready. Go. Ready. Go. Well, they are Guadalupe. These are some of the tasks of for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give the Give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send to two late sales report on May 26 and to write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have to two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best way. Daniel Rick. Best regards. Yay. All right. Is there any question about pronunciation or vocabulary still? Or is everything clear? Okay, what's the ordinance of uh, the order, sorry, of importance? What is the most urgent activity that Guadalupe has to do? The principal factor is the time. The time do you have for the finally the mm -hmm. task? Mm -hmm. 
So which is the most urgent? She needs, she has to. That's the most urgent, the first one. Mm -hmm. Somebody. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Uh, with lady, um, bueno, elegimos como more important mm -hmm. uh, uh, to send the uh, two latest sales reports on May uh, 26th. Mm -hmm. And they write a new welcome letters for the, for the, for the new customer. For the new customer. It's very important to send the two latest sales report on May the 26th and then write a welcome letter for the new customer and they, she only has one day to do it, right? And, right. Have, and one day to do it for hours. De, de, de hecho, la, el análisis lo hizo Lady. Dice, no, si es un día es más importante. Es más urgente. Ajá, uh -huh. uh, correcto. Es the most urgent. Right. Ok, the next one. Uh, next one. Uh, to call the new clients from the, uh, from the last three weeks and give them uh, the carly information. Uh, for you. Uh -huh. So call the new clients okay, from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have only two days, one hour each day to do it. Right. The third one. And the third is uh, to visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it in two hours, right? Okay, that's and true. The last, and the, the last, last is, but not the least, last is, uh, to contact the first three potential customers mm -hmm. in the uh, in the list for um, Mr. Sanchez. Mm -hmm. So you have three days to do it and three hours each day, right? Okay. Correct. That would be perfect. Okay. It's Friday night. <laughs> and let's have the attendance as the last activity. Okay. Just let's repeat the attendance. Anna Ruth is not here. Brenda is not here. Claudia is not here. Daniel. Present. The other Daniel is not here. Daniela. Daisy Tatiana. I'm here. Dolores. Present. Okay. Um, let's see, Jonas. Present. Hi. Uh, Jorge is not here. Jose David is not here. Julius. Uh, present, present. Friday night favor. <laughs> I know. Karen. <laughs> Kevin, Lady, Ruth, Evelyn. Listen. Hey. Bueno, muchas personas no están, así que la última persona que participó fue Tatiana. Right? No. Yesterday. Oh, sí. Dolores. Me? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Chiliana, no here. Okay. Uf, nos iríamos hasta con Mr. Julio. Are you available, okay. Mr. Julio, to participate? Sí, sí. I am in the street, mm -hmm. uh, pero es lo normal. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. Have a nice weekend. Rest. Enjoy. Do things you want to do. And I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> okay, good night. God bless good you. Night. Bye. Each a question. Tell me. Um, la tarea de las 
¿Se va a cerrar igual los viernes o podemos trabajar durante el fin de semana? Como no iniciamos desde el lunes, pueden trabajar el fin de semana. Ah, ok. Please. Por Monday or Tuesday, sí, ya. Ok, gracias. <risa> ok, work. Good night. Good night. Okay, Mr. Julio, tell me, tell me any situation that you think, can you hear me? Sorry, eh, sorry, sorry, que estaba mi, mi hija por acá. Bye. No problem. Can you hear yeah. me now? Yeah. All right. Tell me about how you feel learning English with us. I feel, I feel so good. Um, I really learned uh, most, mm -hmm. uh, pero sí realmente eh, siento que me falta vocabulario y el hecho de, de, de estar como que un poco más suelto a la hora de, de, de poder eh, transmitir. Ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero sí, la verdad me siento bastante bien. Siento uh -huh. que he aprendido bastante, pero sí me interesa realmente eh, ampliar eh, mi yes. vocabulario. No sé qué me recomienda, quizás. There are so many websites. Yes. You can study on the platform you can read you can watch videos you can do a lot of a lot of things but the most important is that you do it okay <laughs> sometimes yes it's i mean we're listening to music but we are not i mean we're just playing the music but if you play the music with the lyric Yes, and you look for the song, for the song lyrics, and you look for the meaning. So you just ask, yeah. just ask karaoke. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh huh. With the lyrics, and you're singing, and you stop or you pause the song, and you write the words, and you start looking for the meaning or the definitions, so you can use the vocabulary in a future conversation. Mm -hmm. That's one strategy. Podcast also help. TED Talks as well. Videos in which people are talking in English about different topics. But at a basic level, not so advanced because sometimes these videos are about scientific discoveries and the, the content is, is, is really advanced. So try to go at your level so that you can be increasing the vocabulary. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. In the manual, in the platform, you have it? Uh, in the manual? Mm -hmm. Do you have the manual for this course? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I bring the, the manual. All right, perfect. That's a good idea. And are you working with the manual when you are answering the platform to compare the lessons? Okay, that's great. Okay, so basically you are doing your job. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, is there anything that I can help you with? Anything? That I can help you with. Uh, algo que pueda hacer por mí. Uh -huh. oh, um, sí, eh, teacher, eh, realmente he estado esperando, la vez pasada incluso de, decía que uh, I check my email uh, because uh, I need to, to oh, como que he estado esperando por buenas noticias. Uh -huh. De hecho, eh, nos han metido para un procedimiento Siempre he querido aprender inglés. Ha sido mi locura. Uh, entonces, pero sí, me gustaría como poder establecer una entrevista de trabajo en la que pudiese contestar a las, a las preguntas que me hace el entrevistador. Uh -huh. 
no me gusta la consulta básica, que como por qué quiero ese trabajo, que realmente qué hago, que, uh -huh. quién soy, cuestiones pues, así. Entonces sí, considero importante eso, como tener una fluidez para poder establecer un, un diálogo uh -huh. con otras personas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you want to practice or a real interview? Um, I want to practice. Mm -hmm. So to practice, you can start with anyone, right? With a friend or somebody who speaks English. You only get a list of questions like role play, pretending that somebody's interviewing you. But if you want to have a real job interview, you can send or apply to any job in English. And they are going to, to first ask you for an interview on the phone or a virtual interview. And then if you go to the next step, probably they call you for a real job interview, like face to face. Call centers okay. are a good option just to have the experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it's not the real job you want, but just to have the experience to to have a job interview in English, you can do it. You can apply yeah. online. There are so many call centers. Sí se puede en línea. El primer procedimiento siempre lo van a hacer en línea. Pero si usted quiere tener la experiencia, pues yo le sugiero que aplique a cualquier call center. Tiene un listado increíble en El Salvador. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para que tenga oh. la experiencia de vivir, tener una job interview. Eso sí, prepárese antes. No vaya a hacer como que nada más así. Ah, Solo, just for fun. Sí, usted practique. Solo... Búsquese un listado de preguntas. Possible questions in a job interview en Google. Lo saca, las practica. Pídale a alguien que se las pregunte. Trate de responder espontáneamente. So, when they call you, you are ready. Ok. Uh -huh. Y no, no estar siempre a suerda, soso. <risa> Se va a poner nervous. Y si sí, se pone nervous, pues no pasa nada. Usted solo está, I mean, playing. Entonces, you are not really applying for the job. Sí, creería que es eh, lo igual. O sea, lo de nervous es, siempre depende de cuán preparado uno esté. Si uno está preparado, pues, adiós. Nervios. Y más, hay más emoción. Incluso right. hay más emoción ganando más. Uh -huh. okay. True. That's true. Bueno, Mr. Julius, I appreciate your time. I hope we can keep in touch, keep in contact in the class, keep studying, complete the platform, and I see you on Monday. No, no. Eh, yo aprecio igual eh, la forma en que nos da la clase y pues estar cada día en ella es muy importante para mí. Keep practicing. Okay. Take off. Good night. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your family. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Okay. You're welcome.